do it. Have a go. We can do it. We've got Karen on the line. Good evening. Uh, good evening. Good evening, Bo- Bo- can I call you Boomer? Ah, oh, call me Boomer. Mr. Whiteman, I've been called much worse than that being in the media all my life. Oh, oh, oh I'm sure you have. You yeah. Know? I've never done anything kind of public like this before, so, you know, this is a bit new for me. And how, how are you tonight? Oh, I'm actually, I'm actually really angry, Boomer. Really, oh. really angry. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, 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 well... I'm, I- I'm quite upset because I can't help but take it personally. Yeah. But I've noticed that lately my name, Karen, has been yeah. used in a derogatory manner. And I'm not happy about that. Really? I think it's really unfair. I think it's discriminatory. Has the- and I want I want the government to declare it a hate crime. Has, has there been like a cyclone, Karen, or something? What's What's the cause of this? Oh, people seem to think that there's something wrong with people called Karen. They say things like, you're a complete Karen and stop ah. being a Karen. Mm. And I just I just think there needs to be legislation about this. I don't know why I pay my taxes and have to put up with all of this hate speech. I really don't know. Why do you think they're all called Karen? I don't think they are. I think they're taking my name in vain and saying uh. that if somebody behaves in a fashion that they don't like then they call them a Karen. And I just don't understand why I have to put up with being triggered like that all the time in my daily life. I just, I'm very upset and I feel, I feel very, look, it's not as if I'm a ginger and I just think it's really Uh, bad that I have to put up with that. Yeah, mm, it's, yeah. Look, do you think it's personal? Oh, it feels personal. Look, even if they don't mean it personally, I am so triggered, you know? Mm. I just find it really upsetting. And I just think that I would like to start a petition or get... Like, I think my local MP should... I've written to my local MP and, you know, they, they, they called back and said they can't... It's about free speech. They said, we can't stop people saying what they want to and it's not as if you're being person, you know, that they can't pin that what people are saying are actually at you but i'm like i'm karen and if they say somebody's a karen then they're saying somebody's a me uh, and i just think mm. i just i just i just don't think yeah. it's fair it's anti-karenist yeah look you make you make some valid points there karen uh maybe it this this could be a a, a political thing we could get some uh somebody like Dutton to argue that uh, people called Karen are too scared to go to restaurants. Well, yes, it's hard. Yeah. Because, you know, you and you don't want to sign your name anywhere because, oh, you're a Karen, yeah. And also the difficulty is my, my surname's Jones and it's like, oh, yeah, you're really a Jones. It's like, well, just because you don't th- you think it's a pseudonym, have you, you know, there's so many Joneses in the phone book, you think you wouldn't come across one? There's so many people who don't believe my name is Jones. I can sort of relate to this because I... I I, I get called in a derogatory way. Oh, boomer, and and then white man. See, so I can sort of I can sort of relate to this. But I mean, the people are not calling other people boomer and white man and claiming it's you, are they? Oh, oh, they are. They are. Uh, yeah, but I, again, I'm not going to delve any further into the political realm. Yeah, but I just don't find the, the terminology because it's like. It's not your Karen. They say you're a Karen as well. I feel really dehumanised by that. A Karen. I'm not a thing. I'm a person, you know? I'm not a Karen. I'm Karen. And I feel really dehumanised by the whole thing, the whole situation, you know? I'm a person. It's very hurtful. Look, I I, I, I agree. Do you you think what what should be the consequences of somebody just going, oh, you're you're a a typical Karen? Oh, 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 jail. Yeah. I think lock them up. Lock them up and throw away the key. Shoot them and throw away the key. That's what I always say. Karenism. Ka- yes, ka- absolutely. Anti-Karenism. You're a Karenist. Yeah. And, and while, while we're at it, I want to talk a little bit about the budget because I, I, I was really appalled to see that when it came to family tax benefits, they don't have anything in place for barren people with fur pets, fur kids. Oh. Because I've got a dog. I'm barren Karen. And I've got this dog who is my baby, and I just think I should be able to get the family tax benefits for my dog because um, I, I have to maintain her. I have to I have to pay for her obedience school. I have to pay for her food. And in this current economic climate, there's absolutely no tax breaks for me, and it's become very very difficult. And I just think that it's discriminatory again. I'm copying it from all directions, Boomer. I really am. Well, but- I'm copying it. 
vet bills add up, well, don't they? They do. And, you know, leave Bill out of this. He's got nothing to do with it. But I, I, I just think that it's really unfair that I have to pay all of the expenses for my dog when some entitled people who have actual children are taking all of the money for those sorts of benefits. And I just think it's really unfair and discriminatory that just because my baby has four legs and fur that they're not treated as a full member of my family by this government. Yeah, well, look, there's there's a lot of people in in your situation, Karen, and and uh, I know, you know, as, as with the vet bills, my when my Doberman got a skin condition, I will tell you what, there's a oh, vet, so sorry. there's a vet, I, I reckon he's bought a yacht out of me with that dog. <sighs> yeah. Well, the thing is, at least with the vets, I have like healthcare. You know, I mean, you can get pet insurance, so it's not like it's not like they haven't actually covered the base of healthcare with our little fur mm. babies, but. It's just all of the other benefits, the all of the other kickbacks that people get. Yeah. For having real kids, you know. Well, they, they say that some people have kids just for the bonuses. Oh, I believe that. I really yeah. believe that. I do. Yeah. Well, you know, the world's got to go around, so we do need people to have kitties. My, unfortunately, my five marriages, uh, I, you know, the the Almighty did not gift any of us in that way. Oh, I, I know exactly how that feels, Boomer, being barren myself. And it's not for want of trying, but I could just never get it together with someone, you know. And it takes two to tango, as they say. And, you know, um, so it's me and my dog. Yeah. My lovely, beautiful, fur baby doggy poo. What's, what's, what's your dog's name? Oh, my dog's name is Sweetie Pie. Oh. My darling little Sweetie Pie. And you feed I those... carry her around. Yeah. I carry her around in a little handbag. And let me tell you, that haberdashery and stuff for carrying your dog around, not cheap. No. Not cheap at all. Look, uh, Karen, I hope I hope, yeah. that, I hope, somebody else, no, I shouldn't say this. I hope somebody else was, with a different name gets a bad reputation, like say. Oh, look, I could, take a, I could take a release of the pressure. I really could. You could get somebody with a name of like Matthew or Alex and they could do something really annoying and then everyone could go, oh, he's a Matthew. Or, uh, maybe, I want a complete Alex. Maybe yeah. he's an Alex. He, she's a, a Sharon, you know, or a Marge. Oh. Maybe you should start that. Isn't that getting a bit namist? Isn't that getting a bit namist? I mean, I just think we should just, you know, stick to what we normally pick on, like. Well, you know, people like me, we, we are the lifeblood of this country and I just don't think we should be picked on. I, I have a term that discriminates against no one and that is I, yes. just, I just say, oh, my God, what a dickhead. Oh, my God, what a dickhead. That's, that's, you've got something in there, Boomer, yeah. I reckon. Yeah. I reckon that's... Uh... Yeah, once, once. Well, maybe we could get that legislated then. I'd be very happy if that was legislated, I, that I... you're not allowed to do anything to complain about anybody except calling them a dickhead. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so don't say Karen when they, no. when they go to these courses on how to conduct themselves without offending anyone. Somebody yeah. they, they could they could like uh, say well don't don't say Karen say dickhead yeah much more civil much more civil. Oh, I'd be so relieved. I'd be able to sleep calmly at night with my little sweetie pie. Uh, just yes. All right. Good night, Karen. Good night, baby. Boom a white man on the airwaves Got his talk show, he's got it made Call him up, share your mind He wants to hear your views One of a kind